Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over one of the HR templates we have and some questions we've gotten about customizing a chart to work for your company salary ranges. So the template that we're going to be going over today is the pay structure design. Let me open it up. This is the pay structure design template. I have other videos that go over how to use this template. This is if you don't have salary ranges yet and you're looking for kind of a faster, quick, easy way to set up something or if you already have salary ranges but you want to get them rounded, this can help as well. But the part that I want to go over today has to do with this ranges progression graph. So there were a few questions about this. And so we're going to be going over how to get this customized to work for your situation. Basically, the bars here are the salary ranges per grade. The grades are here at the bottom, so it pre-populates with up to 25 grades. Not everybody has that many salary ranges. So I'm going to show you how to remove the extra grades you're not using. So this chart is looking at everything that you've entered over here to the to the right. So it's going to look at the rounded. Um, you can select to round your ranges right here. So it's going to be looking at that information. So for this example, I already filled out this information in the white and green. And then the gray cells are formulas to to show you different metrics on the ranges, range spread, midpoint differential. But um, for this example, I only have seven or so grades or salary ranges, so we're not using the full 25. The other thing I'm gonna go over, another question that has come up is how do I plot the employee pay against the salary ranges? So we can add a dot for each employee's salary that falls within each grade and have this show up to give us a, a really nice visual on how the employee pay compares to the actual sal salary range. So you'll see I have some of these things at the bottom here, but I'm going to show you how to use the template because this is an extra thing we've added in to the template recently. Okay, so first things first, let's go over adjusting this chart so that we only, we get rid of all these blank grades. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to another tab I had. This second one, you'll see in the first one, I had the ranges starting higher and they progressed down. They progressed down like this, but typically you could do it either way, but I like the progression upwards a little better. So starting with the lower ranges in the first grade. So depending on if your grades are numeric or maybe alphanumeric, you just need to put the lowest grade starting in the top and progressing down. And then like for this one, even though A is, is over here, you'd want to start with the lower grade G if you want it to look this way in the chart. Okay, so I've added that. So in order to adjust the axis, like, Sometimes you're able to right click on this and select format access, but this is a combo chart. So it's sometimes the options are different. So I'm going to show you an easier way to get rid of this, these blank grades that we don't need. And that's just going to be by right clicking in the, in the chart and do select data. And you'll see we have these different, we have max, mid, min, grade, which is unchecked, employee average unchecked. We could add this back and we can click on to edit any of these. So I'm going to start with max and I'm going to click edit. And you'll see that this series name is just what we're naming it. We're naming it the max. So the values, we want to click on the second one. And you'll see it's highlighting all the way across all of the blank grades. So we just want to update this so we're only bringing in the data on the grades that we have. So we only have A through G. And I know it looks backwards, but that's so that it starts with the lower grade and the position one. 
I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to do the same with the mid and the minimum too. So I'm just going to come in here and highlight the same row. I'm just removing these zeros, so we're not highlighting all the blanks. And then let me come back into min and do the same thing. If I click on it and then just highlight A through G. Okay, but we're not done. We also need to look at this market average. So I'm going to click edit. And if I scroll left, it's okay. It's referencing the values here. I think I already updated this before it was all the way down. And if you get this template, it'll, it'll go all the way down. So it'll pick everything up. Just highlight the values that you have if you only want to show that. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I don't think we need to do the ones that are unchecked. Let's see. And that has updated our progression chart so that now we only have one through eight for the grades. And then one other thing I want to edit with this chart is it's getting these zeros or decimal places here. If I right click format axis, go to number, and this is where I can remove those decimals. So I'm just going to put zero. I don't want to see decimals and then X out and then that should be fixed. Okay, so the next question that had been coming up a lot, several people asked for was how to plot the employee pay against these, this progression of salary ranges. And so we made it easy for you. We've added in some extra tabs into this pay structure design template. It's going to be called employee list. It only says two because I was doing a couple different copies of it. So we made it really simple. All you have to paste in is the grade and the salary, but I'm also including employee ID and name so that to keep track of things. And this column right here is going to update to place the pay in the right position. So I'm going to paste my sample data in. You'll see that the grade for chart has now updated based on the letter grade that we have. That's just for the chart so we can convert the the letter into the the pl right place in the chart and remember with this one we were starting with the lower grade one is the equivalent of G so if I come back here and say I filter on G this is converting everyone who's G to a grade one and it's plotting this 42 and 55 so for that first one is plotting 42 and 55 Looking at this, you would say, wow, a lot of people are over the max or under the min. There's not a lot that are actually within the ranges, but this is just sample data. So it's really that simple. That's all you have to do for the plotting the employee pay. Now there's a couple other things in here. You'll notice this green line is market average. There is one spot to update if you come to the beginning and then scroll down market values. Oh, there's only a place for one value per grade. So depending on how you get your information or if you have one job per grade, that would make it a little easier. But if you don't have market values and you want to remove that line, you can just right click, select data, and you can remove the market average if you don't need to show that. There's another field that I had removed in the example. I'm gonna right click and select data again and we're gonna add it back in. That's employee average. So if I check this option again, now I'm getting yellow, a yellow dot for the employee average. So you'll see it really sits right between most grades. I just have two data points. And that's also an automatic calculation. So if I scroll back over to the bottom where all the formulas are, you'll see it's going to automatically pull in the employee average of what we've pasted into the employee list over here. You'll see it's doing an average if. So that's really all you have to do is paste in that employee information to get these dots plotted against your salary ranges. Now there are other ways to customize the this axis to show the actual letter, 
But for now, the easiest, simplest way is I would do a insert a text box and just overlay this if you want to display the letters. So this one's going backwards for the example, but hopefully if it was, so you wouldn't want to start with A because in this example, A is my highest range and G is my lowest. So in order to show that progression, I had to list G first. So we definitely need to make sure we're putting in the right corresponding grade. So we're going to go G, F, E. So that's how I would do it really quickly. And one other thing, you can also definitely customize the colors of everything. So the bottom half of the range is a slightly different color. Just right click and you could make them all the same color if you wanted. So there we go. If I wanted it all the same or if I wanted to do different colors, you can definitely customize any of that. Maybe two slightly different shades. That way the midpoint is going to be that middle line in between. So I hope that helps. And if you have a table like this and you're trying to make edits and adjustments, I hope this helps your situation. If you do want to try out this template, you can always grab it here at timesavingtemplates.com and go to the shop in the human resources section. And I'll also link to, to that specific template. And it's also part of our base pay bundle, which comes with several different upgraded versions of a merit program and salary increases and adjustments, as well as this pay structure design template. So definitely check that out. We also have a couple of free resources. You can find those at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. And the, the HR and compensation freebie is going to be the compensation metrics cheat sheet. So you know how in the example we had a couple of metrics, midpoint differential, range spread. That's what's covered in the compensation metrics cheat sheet. It just explains what that means and how to use that. If you're interested in finding out more about those compensation metrics. And then we also have a free guide to get started with Excel. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your Excel spreadsheets. Thanks.